Want to take a field trip with us to Mill Mountain Park? Yes, come on along. We're Hal and Chris Collin with Collin Realty Group. If you're getting value out of this content, please make sure you like and subscribe. Give us any comments or things that you would like to see as well. We'd love to help you out. And if you're thinking about moving to or within the Roanoke Valley, please give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right, so here we go. Starting on the field trip, we're gonna go from Roanoke downtown on Campbell Avenue through the market area of downtown Roanoke and then all the way up to Mill Mountain. It's gonna be a, probably about a five or 10 minute drive. So it's gonna be your driving tour and field trip of all things that are great about Roanoke and Mill Mountain specifically. Isn't that incredible that it just in 10 minutes, you're gonna be surrounded by nature. It is so beautiful, peaceful, scenic. You're not going to believe how close this is to downtown, so buckle up. We just passed the municipal building, and on the left is Unleashed, which is that cool dog bakery, and also the, the dog and cat gift store, so that's really fun. Yeah, I'm looking in the window. I see, like, <laughs> gifts for animals, probably gifts for humans as well. And then above it, you were mentioning condos and lofts earlier. Oh, There's... that's the Ponce. Yes, I the got Ponce. it right this time. Ponce de Leon, the Ponce. Apartments, and then down here on the right will be the Aurora. So, so um, a lot of these historic buildings they've renovated into condos, lofts, mm -hmm. apartments. Just beautiful. Italian and Venezuelan cuisine at Leonor. So I didn't realize it did Venezuelan. Sounds awesome. There's the Aurora. And we just got our new bus station in on Salem Avenue. So that's a street parallel. What you're not seeing right now is the Taubman Museum of Art. So make sure you hit that up as well as the Museum of Transportation. That's a fantastic place to go. Planes, trains, and automobiles, right? And that's right, absolutely, <laughs> yep. And there's Sidewinders, great place for entertainment, adult beverages, have country music acts come in there all the time. So get some big headliners in there. And Corn Beef and Company is to the left. There's a lot of places. We could, we could probably do a whole video on just highlights as you drive around town, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Or we could do a walking tour That's of, right. uh, hey, here's the greatness of uh, entertainment in Roanoke. And food. Of course. You love food. There's you gotta talk about food. That's right. <laughs> there are a lot of restaurants in downtown and a lot of boutique shopping, a lot of attractions. There's just so much to do. It's awesome. All right, coming up on the uh, more historic part of downtown. We've got the center and the square on the right, which houses over seven or eight attractions under one roof. Great for all ages, lots to see, and a beautiful rooftop garden as well. And that's for sure. They have events up there. They got, don't they have parakeets in there now? They do. Parakeets They're in there. Awesome. And then just to the left, the brick building here, that is the historic city market building. Uh, it's got food, it's an event venue, and we're making a right to go down the street that houses the historic Roanoke Farmer's Market. Yay, I saw some beautiful flowers out here earlier. And this is home to a lot of the shops you've heard us talk about, like Ladles and Linens, Gypsy Palooza, Chocolate Paper, Artsy June, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Oh, Walkabout Outfitters. Yeah. Wasabi. Wasabi. In, in Chris's opinion, best sushi in town. <laughs> so is. if you have another preference, let us know. And then just beyond here, if you were to walk straight through this intersection, what would you see? Oh, Elmwood Park, mm -hmm. which is on the back side of the library. We'll tell you a little, we'll give you a little secret here in a little bit about uh, what's behind the library besides Elmwood Park. And we're passing La Dida, -da. a great boutique, and now they have a men's line called La -di Dude. <laughs> I haven't checked it out yet. I'll have to get in there for sure. Yes. And then some new vibrancy to downtown over here on the left is a new furniture shop called Texture, Texture mm -hmm. which is uh, locally made, crafted, that type of thing. And then we've got a, there's a restaurant up above, European style. And then the French farmhouse, we just passed that, which they have great home furnishings and we love the lighting whenever we're um, shooting downtown. Well Hung Vineyard, which is great for uh, the winery. And then Mass General Store, which is a fantastic place for outdoors. They have some preserves in there too. It's kind of like a country store and adventure store. Is that a good description? Yeah, I think so. And they got cheap bow ties. They got good prices on bow ties, right? So I'm always, uh, whenever I go to some stores, they're like 50 bucks for one. 
And you know me, I'm kind of like to be cheap on my bow ties, but I get reversible from um, formal Friday bow ties in, uh, uh, in Lynchburg, but actually at Mill Mountain, they've got some that are not reversible. They're 30 bucks, two for 30 bucks, I think last time I was in there. Good to know. In case you were wondering, and then we're gonna go by two restaurants coming up and the Patrick Henry uh, the restaurant is Inca Grill Infusion uh, for Latin food and then Rookie's homemade ice cream sandwiches. Then the Patrick Henry has furnished uh, apartments. So if, if you need to just stay for a little while, they'll do month to month. And then over here on the left, what is there? It's the main library. It's so cool. There's actually a slide from the upper level down to the lower level into the kids area. I love that. I think that's just so creative. How many times have you gone down it? Uh, once. <laughs> it was fun. It did shock me a little bit, but it was fun. Um, and then tucked behind, here's the tip, tucked behind the library, if you go around the right side of the building, there's a great little park back there. It's called Peter Pan Park. Mm -hmm. It's got a giant ship and everything. It is one of my favorite parks to take the kids to. And here we're coming upon uh, Radford University Carillion here, Community Hospital. A lot of outpatient procedures happen there. It's also a place for instruction and teaching hospital. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Elmwood Park earlier. That's where they have a lot of music, concerts. There's some events that happen there. They even have Elmwood on ice during the winter, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I've taken the kids a couple of times. Uh, this year I was going to go indoors at the Berglund Center, but I didn't quite make it. Oh, Off in the distance, uh, depending on what screen size you're looking at, you're going to see Carillion, the main Roanoke Memorial Hospital, uh, which is under expansion to serve the needs of the community when it comes to medical care. And then I'm going to pan the... There we go. And then if you look over to the left, that mountainside there. That is Mill Mountain, where we're heading. Yeah, we're headed there. We are heading there. You'll get a bit better view here in just a second because that's uh, a couple trees there in the way. Yeah, and Carillion's a great facility, trauma one uh, level care, and it's drawing so much attention for all the awards and accolades it's gotten. We're receiving a lot of client calls for people moving here just to work there, and I think that we're really blessed to have um, that level of health care in the valley. We oh, also yeah. have Lewis Gale, so. Yep, yeah, I was gonna say Lewis Gale healthcare. as well, yep. When we start going up Walnut here on the right side, I'll tell you now, is uh, Dr. Pepper Park. Yes. Which will be there uh, Friday night for a concert. Right. Great venue, outdoor, bring your lawn chair. You're literally under the stars and enjoying great live music, good food, drink, and then fellowship just with so many friends. It's, it's a great place. And we get national acts as well as, you know, like tri tribute bands that are national acts too, right? Yeah, so like it's a. Yeah, they have a whole lot of greatness going on there. Yeah. And on the right there is a uh, is the star. So you can There's the star. See where we're headed to, right? <laughs> That's right. Super easy to find the road to the star. Just hop on Walnut and there'll be directional signage leaning you right up to the star. Yeah, so you got Blue Cow ice cream right there to the left uh, right before you start your ascent to Mill Mountain Zoo and Star and it'll turn into Mill Mountain Parkway, which then turns into the oh, Blue, Ridge Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah, so this is just a little spur of um, the Blue, off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And if you don't, if you're not familiar with that, please check out our video. It's all about the Blue Ridge Parkway and what a beautiful scenic tour that is. Yeah, things to do and all that. Actually, you know, that's where my parents enjoyed their honeymoon. They just toured the Blue Ridge Parkway. So I thought that was really neat. It is neat. I wouldn't think about that. <laughs> There's a bicyclist. Yeah. They're enjoying climbing and coming down the, uh, the mountainside. <laughs> <We're crying. laughs> you know, I think it's really cool to see. Remember, we were just downtown. Now we're transitioning to the Mill Mountain Parkway area and immediately you can see the difference. We are in the woods, in the forest, that beautiful canopy. Of I feel leaves. like you're in the treetops. Mm, it's so pretty. And this is connected to the greenway system that we have. So you can certainly walk up here. You see the bike lane on the right hand side. You can bike up this mountain. And if you can do that, kudos to you. Yeah. Make sure you bring a snack. You're going to need some to recuperate after you're done with that. Just a nice leisurely drive up here. Yeah, Chris is not speeding. 
She's taking it easy, going around the curves. And you know, you notice that I'm driving, I'm kind of got some control issues. <laughs> I'm a safe driver, I promise, but, but she, she, whenever I'm, whenever I'm driving, I could be 10 feet back and she thinks I'm like uh, tailgating. <laughs> I'm nervous. You are a good driver though. So on our little field trip, we're gonna learn all about what there is to do at Mill Mountain Park. It's not just the overlook, which mm -hmm. is in itself stunning. It is stunning. And worth the trip. But there's actually two overlooks. There's a discovery center, there's an outdoor classroom, the wildflower garden. There the frog pond. The frog pond. The zoo. We had so, we're gonna have so much fun at the zoo. We right? are, yeah. And it's just a gorgeous day out here mm -hmm. as well today. We got low humidity, sun shines out. It was overcast about earlier today, but as you can see, as we're driving up through the treetops uh, to access Mill Mountain Park itself, I mean, it is just gorgeous. It is. I think that's why another reason why I like Roanoke so much is because even though it, it has all the amenities you need, right? And so downtown is nice and vibrant. We saw people walking business folks walking, going to lunch and, yeah going to lunch so many local places to eat and shop and yet you are within minutes to a place like this i mean you could pop up here on your lunch hour enjoy a walk or a picnic there's picnic areas up here there's so much to do and it's all within your fingertips right here back here we're here that didn't take any time did it <laughs> Hey y'all, so we made it up to the mountain. We're gonna check out all that there is to do here at Mill Mountain Park. We're gonna look at the star, we're gonna go to the zoo, we're gonna look at the wildflower garden, which is one of I my I bet it's gonna be beautiful right now. It is. We've got people heading to the hiking trail now. Yeah. We've got the Roanoke Star to the right. So it is a beautiful day here in Roanoke and come and enjoy the tour with us. So as we said, we made it up to the top of the mountain. We are right now at the base of the star itself overlook behind us look at that amazing and gorgeous view right we've got we've got power company up here working on something as well but you know people are trying to take care of things for us here yeah. but just beautiful day so it we are is. excited to be here it's so nice to be here we live in such a beautiful valley and remember we always say that Roanoke is surrounded by the Blue Ridge Mountains so you can really see how apparent that is from these overlooks because you can see where we're just kind of nestled into the valley it's so pretty but there are two overlooks here we're going to be headed towards the other one but at this main overlook where the parking lot is you can enjoy the Roanoke star cam yes which is really cool so you can phone your friends back home and do little selfies using the star cam they can see live action you right there on the overlook so that's fun yeah we did that before with uh <laughs> with her parents i think we did on the um interstate one time we were driving home and we were like oh check out mile marker such and such we're coming up there <laughs> so check true. us out on the camera so it's a cool way to interact with family especially with social media and that type of thing mm -hmm. nowadays so and make sure you tell them all about the um, illustrious star itself right yeah let's talk about the history a little bit of the star because i love history yes you do oh, there's a beautiful mountain laurel over there in oh Blue. so pretty, pretty. Whenever oh. we go down this way, we'll see if we can get on the left for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So the the star was actually built in 1949 as a holiday decoration, if you can believe it. Wow. It has hey, a, yeah, absolutely wow. Who, who thinks of that? I don't know, but it has over 2,000 feet of tubing, neon tubing, and it just overlooks the whole valley. And it, it still glows today. Each night they turn it on and it glows white but it does have the potential to, to light as red, white, and blue mm -hmm. if we were wanting to show our patriotism for certain holidays. That's so right, absolutely. I like seeing it like that as well. Yeah, so we always say it's a little beacon of coming home to Roanoke, whether yeah. you're flying in, driving in, whatever the case may be, you see the star, you're like, ah, home. That's right. Yeah, and I mean, this thing is massive, you guys. It, it weighs over 10,000 pounds. So I can't. You think I, can't I can lift imagine. it? Can I lift it? <laughs> maybe I don't think day. Ignite's got me that strong yet, right. but maybe one day. <laughs> yeah, and, and right now I'm just looking at a beautiful picnic shelter over here, a pavilion. Um, my kids, we like to come up here and have a little picnic, play on the playground, check out the zoo. There's so much to do. There's over 10 miles of hiking trails here. One of the ones that's kind of tucked in to South Roanoke 
can climb on up to actual Mill Mountain itself. It's called Chestnut Ridge Trail. Mm -hmm. It's a 5.4 mile, a figure eight kind of loop is what they said as far as figure eight trail. So you can make, and it's easy to moderate and it actually goes on the Blue Ridge Parkway also. So, I mean, how fortunate are you to have that right in the city of Roanoke to come up to the top of Mill Mountain and be able to partake in this beauty here, right? I think we've said beauty a lot today because it is just a gorgeous day. I mean, humidity is low, the temperature feels great. I'm you got the, the sunshine out. I mean, you could come up here for birdie and that's one activity that people like to do as well. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so there's, there's, like I mentioned, there was 10, over 10 miles of trails ranging in difficulty, but they are multi-use. So hiking, biking, whatever you can think of. I think there's some horseback riding trails as well, so check into that if you're interested. Um, but another trail that's really popular is the Star Trail, the actual Star Trail. You could walk all the way or bike all the way up using the Star Trail. It is easy to moderate. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of zigzags up the mountain. There's a chipmunk, how cute. <laughs> and it's about 3.3 miles. So great family activity if you wanna just walk up instead of biking i mean excuse me instead of driving you can do that so we gave you the history of the actual mill mountain star itself let's talk to you a little bit about the history of mill mountain which mm -hmm. as we we're doing research today and some analysis i was blown away by the history of the mountain that i didn't know about we have such good history here <laughs> yes in the 1700s it truly was a mill here at the base of the mountain it was a grist mill so, hence the name Mill Mountain. Hmm, there you go. Very good. Okay, there's some sense behind that. Right. Yeah. And then in the late 1800s, Rock Ledge was built up here. That was a hotel. And of course, they had few food and a beautiful view. Um, and then later, you know, people, it just, it took a lot of effort to come up to Rock Ledge because it was a multi hour carriage ride. So, they installed an incline, the Mill Mountain incline. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it took us 10 minutes to drive up here with a <laughs> gasoline fueled powered vehicle. So I couldn't imagine. Now, the good news is you've got lots of pretty scenery to see while you're coming up right. here. But I mean, by the time you got up here, it'd be time to turn around and go back home so you can make it home to go to sleep at night, right? I guess. That's I mean, I think, I think it would be an excursion. There you go. Then. Excursion for the day. Yes. Yep. yes. So the incline was great because they had rail cars and they came up the incline of the mountain. I imagine that was pretty steep because I think it's about a 10% grade. Yep. So that's and, you can, and you can actually see through the tree line where it used to be. Yes. Whenever yeah. you're driving around, you see this kind of like clear cut area right. going up the mountainside. Oh, that's where the incline used to be. Right. Yeah. And so later in the 60s, Rock Ledge was actually housed the Mill Mountain Playhouse. And after a fire though, Mill Mountain Playhouse turned Mill Mountain Theater and it's currently housed today at Center in the Square. So that's a little bit of the history. Let's talk about today what Mill Mountain has actually become. It's called, it's basically a Mill Mountain Park now. And there is a zoo here, there's hiking trails, there are these beautiful overlooks, right. there are play areas for the kids. And then the outdoor classroom, when, when COVID first hit, I packed up the girls with their school provided lunch. <laughs> we came up here and we had class. It was so much fun. It was beautiful. It the was. The rhododendrons were blooming. Um, the playground and then, yeah, that Discovery Center is used for a lot of nature education programs. So it's a great facility. They have some live animals in there too. But there's just, you could spend the day up here so plan for that, build that into your itinerary. There's so much to do. I was gonna say, bring a picnic lunch, pick up some lunch at the base of the mountain, bring it up here. There's even a picnic table right on the other side of us on the secondary yes. overlook that I'm looking at right now. So enjoy your time at Mill Mountain. We're gonna give you a more play-by-play, -play, step by step tour coming up. We just passed the, what I call the frog pond, and then there's also a time capsule up here as well uh, on, the, on the mountain. So we're passing there, and then we're gonna head over to the zoo I don't think we're going to go into the zoo today, but I we're going to go into the zoo. <laughs> I want to check it out. Do I get to leave you there? <laughs> that would be fine. I love their porcupine. I don't know why. Yeah. It's just this big Can, can you actually pet porcupines? Come on now. Well, well, I'm thinking if you did it just like the right way, just like whenever you're yeah. taking a fish off the hook, right? Like you, you prevent yourself from getting uh, attacked by the fin of a fish. Couldn't you do that with a porcupine maybe? Maybe. maybe. Is he tame enough? But like Hal said, we have been in the wildflower garden. 
and I've seen so many cool plants. There have been May apples. We're getting ready to pass underneath a redbud tree, which is beautiful in the spring. Now, what was your favorite thing that you came up to and you were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. A native flame azalea. It's orange and it's gorgeous. Make sure you check this place out. There's so much to see. Take your time. Take That's the thing, like even though we're filming this today, we are still kind of meandering and enjoying it and kind of just like, ah, breathing a little bit. So and it's at, good to be on top of the mountain. Yeah, and at the end of the trail, it leads you right to the zoo. So make sure you take this path to the zoo entrance and not just the little walking path. That's right. So here at our manageable Mill Mountain Zoo, it's not just a place to stroll around and check out animals, but you can also learn about the animals. So we got an education station oh, yeah. and center, so the educational programs that happen. Yeah, and Zookeeper Talks, we were listening to one on the way in, mm -hmm. but they have so many events that vary, not just for children. They have music up here, they have events that happen throughout the year, and one of our favorites is Breakfast with the Animals. So that's a lot of fun, but they try to make these programs interesting, educational, and super fun for everybody here. That was your official walking tour of the zoo, but not super detailed, no. right? <laughs> yeah, we, we did a quick overview. We didn't even see a third of the exhibits, y'all. And we did that on purpose because we didn't want to spoil it for mm -hmm. you. So we did not show you any of the exhibits in person, right. but you got a good feel for it. It's very manageable in size, yet you could spend a couple hours here and there's so much to see. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's a, and you know, the great thing that I found out today that I didn't know is the fact that they are, the animals that are here are being rehabbed. They're taken out of nature because they wouldn't survive out there. So they're here, we get to actually enjoy them. So there's a group of school kids here today learning all about the amazing animals that are living here at the Mill Mountain Zoo. Yeah, make sure you check out the Zoo Chew, which is so fun. <laughs> Adults can ride it too. You can just hang out on this little zoo train and it takes you all around the perimeter. It's a lot of fun. I've got to do that next time. Yeah, make sure you send us some pictures, videos, whatever that you decide to do here at the Mill Mountain Zoo or on Mill Mountain itself whenever you're visiting or while you're just hanging out. Wow, that star is just massive. But what a fun field trip we had today. It sure was, and we'll see you on the next video.